Sorry about that. I'm allergic to nerds LARPing in their basement. I like this new generation of music. Mother of God, it's all toilet sounds. Okay, boomer. What's up, everybody? I'm Finn McKenty. This is the Punk Rock NBA, and today I am here with a video that I never thought I would make. A video about black metal. Now, a lot of people have asked me to do a video about black metal, and I always kind of said no because I wasn't really sure what I could possibly add because this has been documented so many times, right? And also, to be honest, <laughs> I don't like it. But part happy. one, the history of black metal in, I don't know, three or four minutes. Focusing specifically on a few key things that are important to what I'm gonna talk about later in the video. Black metal started back in the early 80s with bands like Venom and Bathory and a couple others. Venom actually had a song called Black Metal back in 1983, so, I guess technically maybe they invented black metal. By the way, if you've never paid attention to the lyrics to this song, they're amazing, like hilariously awful. Black metal as we know it started in like the late 80s, early 90s with all those Norwegian bands that you're probably familiar with. Mayhem, Dark Throne, Immortal, Satyricon, Emperor, all the bands that sound like this. As far as what happened after that, I'm gonna skip over a whole lot of details here because like I said, it's been told so many times before. You can go read Lords of Chaos or whatever if you wanna know all the details. That brings us to part two. What's my problem with black metal? And it's actually not the politics either, although that is definitely a turnoff. Like the fact that there is an entire subgenre of Nazi black metal is definitely troubling. No, yeah, and there is the Nazi thing. Kind of hard to look past that. Well my problem with black metal is actually much more simple than that. I think it's boring. Boring music, boring forced edginess, boring recycled imagery, stale. It's just not interesting to me. If there ever was something interesting and fresh about black metal, well, that was like driven on the ground decades ago. Sure, it was interesting when Mayhem and Dark Throne did the like lo-fi recordings and spikes and corpse paint thing 25, 30 years ago, but it was a lot less interesting when 9,000 bands came out that were like exact carbon copies of every single thing that those bands ever did. Like, it's not rebellious to sound like shit when everybody sounds like shit, right? Quick note, there's unfortunately a lot of misogynist stuff in this genre, which I really can't stand. And I wanna be super clear that I definitely do not support any of that. So if there's a band that you don't hear me mention and you're wondering why, that could be the reason. So you might be saying, isn't that true of every subgenre? Isn't every subgenre defined by a handful of pioneers and then a whole bunch of shitty bands that knock them off? Yes, if you said that, you would be right. That is true of pretty much every subgenre. And before anybody mentions it, yes, you could absolutely say the same thing about like real punk. But you know what? All that might not even bother me if the black metal fan base wasn't so notoriously shitty. And I think that even most black metal fans would agree with me on that one. Of elitism in the music communities. Is a topic that got me thinking on the journalist to allow me to write my thoughts to the butcher journalist to allow me to write an article on the existence of elitism and the ambient and the existence of elitism. It's actually a very good article. Do get a chance to pick up a couple of people. I'm glad 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 that being said, like I mentioned earlier, there are actually some little pockets of black metal that I really, really love. Some people doing some very interesting, like very challenging, creative, avant-garde kind of stuff, I guess you would say. And I don't hear people talk about them that often, so I just wanted to mention those quickly before we move on. The first one, you can tell this is pretty weird shit, but this is by far my favorite black metal band. Dethrone the Son of God is the album that most people seem to like, and I don't hear people talk about them that often. It's the album that most people seem to like, and I don't hear people talk about them that often. It's the album that most people seem to like and I don't hear people talk about them that often and I do like that one but what I like even more is all the later stuff which is really more of what you would call like ambient dark noise than anything you would call metal I guess second is torture <laughs> along 
the same lines is really more like weird atmospheric dark ambient noise than like metal i don't really know much about this band other than i love them if you know anything about it let me know in the comments i would love to hear more stuff from them if it exists and abrupt <laughs> more like noisy ambient kind of stuff but much more polished than torture or have a hedge like there's actual riffs that you can hear it's especially hard to take seriously coming from a guy who put on homemade armor and posed for pictures in the basement of their house because it kind of looks like a castle dungeon if you turn the lights down a little bit it's especially hard to take seriously coming from a guy who put on homemade armor and posed for pictures in the basement of their house because it kind of looks like a castle dungeon if you turn the lights down a little bit and the last one i'm actually not going to try to pronounce the name of this band so obviously some pretty inaccessible difficult stuff I don't bro oh snap this is like so trippy i'm gonna smoke my bong to this crazy ass shit bro as far as i know even black metal fans don't like this stuff very much and what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. What's up, everybody? I'm Finn McKenty. How do you do, fellow kids? What? 